Okay, Chang sir, go ahead. Hi guys, I'm sorry about the uh, a little bit <laughs> difficult. I'm gonna talk about something here, the hypertension and Alzheimer. The hypertension is mostly commonly seen condition. You will encounter the patients with that every day, I, be I believe. And Alzheimer is not so, so frequent. But anyway, we're gonna talk about it in my own way. They're gonna be very interesting for you today, okay? Hypertension and Alzheimer's, is, that's my uh, special topics for today. All this, everything here is based on my 45 years clinical experience, not from the book. Maybe a little bit different from what you will learn. You have learned from the book, but uh, mine is more effective. Ah, okay, this is my basic uh, uh, information. Okay, in Chinese medicine, hypertension is caused by various factors. That's very easy uh, for anyone to understand. And uh, disharmony of qi and blood deficiency, even deficiency might cause hypertension and definitely kidney related problems. It's so, uh, so frequent, you will see them. We should personalize analysis and treatment approach. This is the most critical word today, personalize. You know, when people go to their, their, uh, their family doctor their, you know, with a uh, hypertension or something, the doctor would just simply prescribe some with the uh, calcium blocker, beta blocker, water pills, COSAR, and, and uh, other, other stuff, and try, or dilator, try this for, week, a month or two, if it doesn't work, they will try something else. But we do this, we do not just uh, focus on the number of the, the blood pressure, we personalize, that's the words. That's our Chinese medicine, that's the basic spirit of our Chinese medicine, to uh, help people according to their personal condition. That's why we are always focused on the pulse and other signs that appeared to us to, to represent the real condition of the patient's problem, blood pressure, something like that. Huh? So we have need to, to classify and treat it separately, not just giving them some, some beta blocker, beta uh, um, uh, other diuretic stuff. It's not, not good enough, okay? Hmm. Okay, we classify hypertension two types, excess and deficiency. That's very interesting. How come a deficient, a weak people will get the hypertension? It just does, okay. Excess. The main symptom of excess hypertension is include headaches, dizziness, red face and ears, dry mouth and thirst, irritability. Anyway, we call it fire, right? So, so the pulse will be jumpy and very strong and very floating. TCM treat for excess type of potentially involves use of heat clearing. The pulse can be jumpy, can be superficial, and the artery can be very tight and hard. <clears throat> the tightness of the uh, blood vessel is something like a rubber band. I always feel like this tightness, when you, this is a general rubber band, it doesn't matter. But you when you put from pull from both sides, it become very tight. So this the tight pulse feel like, but of course it's much thicker than this, let me about the size of uh, of a straw. But I don't have a straw to pull, so this is rubber band will show you the feeling of tightness, just like a guitar string, very tight. And tight, I always tell them, hey doc. I mean, hi, your, your artery is a little hardened, like a rubber tube, not plastic tube, rubber tube, the, the, those tubes, and very tight. That means the elasticity is limited and too much heat generated from where, from anywhere of the body to the artery and to the heart too, to make the blood pressure go up. So we might use something long tan xie gan tang, 
this kind of pause heat killing medicine against this uh, uh, the, this fire pause must be wiry and strong, something like that. So long dan xie gan tang is for liver channel. Long dan xie gan tang covers the head. Sometimes the people will have headaches from the uh, uh, hypertension. Xia ku cao xuan shen di long du zhong. These are most commonly used uh, herbs for blood pressure condition. Xia ku cao clears the head and the eyes and the ears, everything in the head. And I'll be talking about it later more. Huh? Xuan shen. Xuan shen is the shen is like jin shen. It's a shen. Xuan in Chinese means black. Black shen. Black, 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 black. What got, color got to do with something like this today? Black is for water and black water will put out the fire so black is against the red stuff so we use black shin to clear the fire like a heat clearing stuff and the dilong is a salty very salty herb as as same thing here they, these two are very salty so why are we are we using salty herbs just to to soften the hardened Blood vessel, arterial sclerosis. And Du Zhong is a very kind, I mean, very mild blood pressure medicine. It will help to lower the blood pressure from the head and the keep bring all the qi and blood to the feet or to the joints and help to lower the blood pressure. It's very mild, I'm sorry, very mild. It can easily prescribe. The second type is this deficiency. Uh -huh. Nobody can understand. A lot of my patients, uh, my students ask me, how come a deficient type will cause hypertension? Yeah, it does. The main symptoms deficient is a dizziness, fatigue, shortened breath, palpitation, insomnia, even with anemia. When you look at the, <clears throat> the, the this area that looks so pale, I would directly tell the patient, hey, you are so uh, anemic. And... Uh, the pulse can be thin and floating, thin and floating. When you press down, it just dis disappears. But the pulse is very tight. That's the word, tight. The tight pulse always got something to do with the blood pressure. So, so always keep this rubber band by hand of this, this one, this one. You put it very hard from both sides, it become very tight. Now this, this one is thin and tight, not like the previous, but this tightness still showing the weakness, weakness of the in deficiency or something like that. <clears throat> So the patient is showing you, oh, yeah, doctor, I'm so tired. Please help me. I feel so uh, lack of energy. I cannot work. I cannot sleep. When I get up in the morning, I feel so tired. Please prescribe me something. Then with all those symptoms coming out of the patient's mouth, you might automatically prescribe some Sichuan Da Bu, Bu Zhong Yi Qi Tang, or Huang Qi Jian Zhong Tang. Then you will cause a lot of trouble maybe even cause the patient to get a stroke. It's very dangerous. So I always urge you to have the patient, the blood pressure taken before entering your, your, your room. So TCM treat deficiency of type of hypertension. You should involve use a qi tonifying in nourishing and kidney. Yi gan san, gou ten, du zhong, san, Sang Ji Sen. Sang Ji Sen. I use this, this two herb in my, uh, in my, um, bone formula, my bone formula. Some people, people have the weak bone structure, uh, estoporosis, or porosis, or ladies with a pregnancy that's unstable and, or maybe uh, this lady has been having this, miscarriage for several times. You want this, now she's pregnant and she want to get a, a better chance to have the baby. I use this too, Du Zhong and Sang Ji Sen, not for lowering the blood pressure, but for st stabilizing the baby. 
Sang Ji Sen is also good for back pain, joint pain in a weak condition. People getting older, you know, and weak with a low immune system, they have back pain or something. I usually use this kind of stuff. So put all this together, we can nourish it in, and that's lower the blood pressure. Okay, 